Yo guys, welcome to my channel. It's Ron Xblade, and in today's video, I will show you how you can disable shadows for a specific object in Prisma 3D. So let me just show you this first. Then I will show the usage of this trick. Then, so here I have like one cube. Here another, and here another. And now if I add a light, make it sun, then pull the shadow here we have three shadows for each cube so i will disable this cube's shadow so how to do that if you see the transparency if you see the transparency here this i can adjust it and after like after like below 50 percent shadow stop working like here i have i am in 51 percent here i have still the shadow but if i go below 50 percent like 49 not here like 47 the shadow stop working you can see there is no shadow the shadow is gone so we have like disabled the shadow but now what to do with the transparency so you just have to copy your object several times like if i copy two times it, it increases the transparency in three times more four times five times six times let's copy it again seven times so now the cube is normal but it has no shadow so this is the trick you can use and for them like when you uh, move your cube so they will not move with the cube so what to do the copied cube you just have to group them and drag to the first cube and now like this you can move the cube easily here so this is the trick how you can uh, disable shadows for a specific object and now let's talk about the usage of this you will be normally need this trick while using a glowing object as they like cast shadows so here i have if i have a glowing object let's delete the sun let's make the sphere glowing effect like here and if i add a light for the light source of it and now it have light source but let's change the color a little bit now using the light it has a light source but if i add an object here and try to like on the shadow to make look it more natural then it will stop working because the light is inside this sphere and the sphere is casting the main shadow so the light is not going here so the shadow is not working so now if i copy the like low the transparency below 50 percent and copy the sphere several times then i will still have the light source and also the shadow so this is the trick this is the main normal thing that is more look like more realistic like this is the light source and it has also shadows and another uses of the uh, this that you can use this thing for like hdri images like as you know if you use a hdri image look it here and do one thing while using hdri image don't forget to like make your sphere like something like this so it will be upside down or like i don't know what is called but normally you have to do this then it will look like more look like more good i don't know what to say here and let's add the texture so here here i have a hdr image and now if i try to like add a sunlight and on the shadows it will stop working because 
this sphere is casting the main shadow that's why the light is not like the shadow is not working inside this sphere so there is the thing you have to like low the transparency of your sphere and that's why i rotate like make the sphere upside down because if you like here if i had a sphere i will show you this here if i had a I have a spare and I don't rotate it like upside down so now if I the texture and go and decrease its transparency it will be completely invisible because it's the inner uh, like inner uh, face of the spare and that's not like it goes invisible when you decrease the transparency from the opposite side that's why I make the spare opposite and now let's copy it several times now we have also the HDR image at, and also the sunlight with shadows so that's why you will need this trick and and because I can't talk properly because I have some like fever today and if you like the video you know what to do and we will meet again in next video then bye